Blowout day for shares of the biopharmaceutical company Alkermes. Shares up 9.5% to a new 52-week high following encouraging news about breakthrough medications for illnesses affecting the central nervous system. Our Meg Terrell has the story. Some good news this week in a market that needed it. Drug maker Alkermes reported positive results in two studies of drugs for depression and schizophrenia. It's been a tough area for the drug industry. The market for medicines for central nervous system, or CNS disorders, is one of the few in the industry expected to shrink over the next few years. It's been difficult to, for, for new drug development for large pharma, certainly, in the last 10 years or so. That's not because those disorders are going away. About 26 percent of Americans have a diagnosable mental disorder, according to research from Cowan. The market for CNS drugs was $33 billion in 2013. Yet even as more mental illness is diagnosed, that market is expected to shrink to $21 billion in 2019. Patent expirations are cutting sales of many top drugs like Eli Lilly's Zyprexa and Cymbalta and Forest Labs' Lexapro. But drug makers have also backed away from CNS disorders in recent years, as development proved more difficult than other areas. According to the Tufts Center for the Study of Drug Development, medicines for CNS diseases take more than a year longer to develop and are less than half as likely to be approved as drugs for other diseases. Why? The disorders are complex and still not well understood, and improvement can be hard to measure. For example, in cancer, if you run a clinical trial, you can use imaging equipment, x-rays or MRI, and look at the size of the tumor and objectively see whether it's growing or shrinking. In psychiatry, the end point, the questions we're asking patients to determine whether the drugs work or not are questions about how they feel. Alkermes's stock soared today as it said it aims to start a late stage trial of its schizophrenia drug this year. The medicine helped limit the weight gain associated with many therapies for the disorder, a side effect that can lead patients to stop taking the drugs. Yesterday, positive data on a late stage medicine for depression also buoyed Alkermes's shares. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.